next standard accounting standard 13 we are going through accounting standard 13 this deals with accounting for investment now what are the learning concept in accounting standard 13 those are definition of the term investment and non applicability of the standard and the third classification of investment as long term and current and the fourth valuation of investment and the fifth reclassification of investment here reclassification refers to we are classifying long term investment into current and current investment into long term and the sixth is disposal of investment and the last that is disclosures so these are the concepts we need to study in accounting standard 13 that deals with point for investment now let us see one by one detailedly in learning concepts now we are going through first head that is definition of term investment here investment is an asset that asset is which is held for the purpose of earning interest or dividend or rental income so friends we know that investment is an asset because it lies in the uh, asset side of the balance sheet and what is the purpose of investment we make investment for earning interest or dividend or rental income so an asset which is held for the purpose of earning interest dividend or rental income and are also for capital appreciation now an asset which is held for sale in ordinary course of business is treated as inventory and not investment as we know the this already because we have already seen that as2 which is deals with the inventory inventory means anything which are held for sale for ordinary course of business is treated as inventory now when we comes to deal with asset when an asset is which is held for sale in ordinary course of a business is also treated as an inventory but it is not an investment now let us see some of the example for investment that is thus we are going to the see some of the examples for investment those are we make investment in shares so this is treated as an investment when we go going to purchase a debentures in another company it is also an investment because we earn interest from debentures and when we purchase a building for earning rental income so this is a common business for real estate people they purchase building and make rental income or they will sell for capital appreciation so these are the some of the example for investment now let us look at non applicability of the standard that is a second head in the learning concepts of accounting standard 3 in learning concepts now we are going through non applicability of standard that is second head in as 13 this standard does not apply to assets held under financial lease or operating lease because there is a separate standard for this that is as 19 and then this standard also does not apply to investments which are held for employee benefits so whatever the investments which are held for the employee benefits this standard does not apply for that there is a separate standard that is as 15 accounting standard 15 and the investments which are held by a bank for this also there is non applicability of the standard that is as 13 and the last that is investments which are held by mutual fund companies or we can call that asset management companies so these are the non applicability of the standards now let us see initial recognition of investment now we are going through initial recognition of invest investment that is valuation of investment here this is divided into three segments that is segment one if investments are acquired by money consideration and segment two if investments are acquired by allotment of shares and the investment and segment three if investments are acquired by exchange of other assets now let us look one by one first we are going through if investments are acquired by way of money consideration so friends if investments are acquired by money consideration then the consideration so given is taken as a valuation of so that is value of investment it means now you are purchasing investments through money consideration then what is the value of investment means whatever amount you are paid for purchasing those investments is treated as a value of investment so whatever you give money consideration to the other party for acquiring such investments it is treated as a value of investment now when we are coming through if the investments are acquired by allotment of shares that is 
If investments are acquired by allotment of shares or securities, then such investment value should be recognized at fair market value of shares or securities issued. So, what here? What is the value of investment means whatever amount for which the value of shares you are issued for the acquiring investment it is treated as a value of investment for that you should consider fair market value of uh, securities or shares for the value of investments and when you are coming through that is if investment is acquired by exchange of asset here now you are acquiring one invest investments through exchanging another asset example now you are acquiring some investments from a company and in return you are giving some of the asset to that company it is treated as uh, so the uh, this is called as if investment is acquired by exchange of asset now what is the value sh we should consider for is such investments so generally adopt the fair market value of asset which you given up so if you uh, given up a car so you should take the fair market value of car for such investments value or fair market value of investment is to be taken so in these two whichever is more clearly evident you should take that that means the fair market value of asset you given up or the fair market value of investments which are you are acquired so in this you should uh, adopt whichever is more evident here for initial recognition or classification does not matter whether investment is long term or current Inves investment should be recognized at cost so this is the valuation of investment or initial recognition of investment now we are going through classification of investment now here classification of investment the, this is depend on the classification of de uh, investment depends on the intention of management in holding the investment that is it is up to the management uh, whether the investment should be treated as a long term or a current because if the management thinks that the investment is holding for a long period then it is treated as a long term investment or it is treated as a short term investment for treating a short term investment it should be intention to hold should be less than 12 months and it should be readily realizable now let us look at this chart same will be here that is classification of investment in first that is we are going through first if the intention of management is to hold the asset as a long term then it is treated as a long term investment and when we are going to other side that is right hand side if the investment is taken as current then two conditions should be met that is intention of intention to hold such investment for less than 12 months it is treated as a current in current investment or in the in investment should be readily realizable if these two conditions are met then we can call it is a current investments so in this we have studied these two that is initial recognition of investment and classification of investment now we are going through valuation of investment that is it is divided into two that is current and long term if investments are current then investment should be carried at its cost or fair market value whichever is low and for these current investments there is a small note that is the upward or downward movement in the book value should be taken to the pnl account there is any increase or decrease in the value of investment should be taken to the pnl account i when it comes to the long term that is generally long term investments are to be carried out in books at original cost and if there is a any permanent decrease in the value of investment then such then such loss should be deducted that is reduced from the book value and there is a small note for uh, long term uh, investments for the valuation of long term investment notice up to now there is a downward valuation and next in subsequent years if there is an increase in the market value of long term investment then investment book value can can be increased however then it should be revised book value should be taken let us see once again however after downward valuation if there is a subsequent increase in the market value of long term investment then investments book value can be increased however the revised book value should not be more than the original cost so if there is a increase in the book value but in the revised value it should not be increased as original cost because it should be met with the original cost 
but it should not increase more than that. Whether there is a permanent decrease in the value of investment is a matter of judgment to be arrived at the considering the exter external factors. So these are the two nodes for the long term investments. So this is the valuation of investment. Let us see once and next we are going through classification of investment as long term and current. Now we are going through reclassification of investment. So this is the reclassification of investment. Here reclassification of investment deals with reclassification refers to change in the intention of management in holding the investment. This can be either reclassifying the long term current or current to long term. Now let us see this chart. Upon reclassification from long term to current, what is the value sh we should be taken? That is book value on the date of reclassification or original cost, whichever is low, we should consider. And when it comes to the reclassification from current to long term, we should take fair market value on the date of reclassification or original cost, whichever is low. So we should consider these for as the value of investment after the reclassification from long term to current or current to long term. Then there is a note for the reclassification from long term to current that is the book value of long term investment will be continue as book value of short term after the reclassification also. For classification of current to long term let us see one example that is if the original cost of book value was taken as 100 rupees and the fair market value on reclassification we have taken that is 98 then book value should be brought to 98 that remaining 2 rupees should be taken to the PNL account debit side that is loss so with this we have completed the valuation of investment and reclassification of investment and we are going through disposal of investment the other is sale of investment if all the investments are sold at one shot then take profit or loss to PNL account so whatever amount you are arrived from the sale of investment as a profit or loss you should be transferred to the PNL account and when it comes to the that is only part of the uh, investments are sold then for determination for determination of profit or loss the investment should be valued at weighted average cost so this is the disposal of investment or sale of investment now we should discuss some special aspects in AS13 that is treatment of special aspects those are bonus shares and right shares here bonus shares means the company is issuing to the existing shareholders some bonus shares with these there is increase in the number of shares but there is no correspond increase in the value of shares so for when the company is issuing bonus shares then the number of shares should be increased should be debited to the uh, that um, shares so uh, the shares will be increased but the cost will uh, will remain same and when we comes to the right shares the company is issuing some rights to the shareholders to acquire some shares at discounted price here the company would get some rate of discount price from the shareholders for acquiring their right shares in some cases some shareholders don't acquire right shares but they sell their right to another persons in that case for that sale of rights the shareholder may receive some money so it is treated as an income to the shareholder and it is treated as a cost to the purchased person that is who is uh, going to purchase that right from the shareholder for this also if the investments are acquired through right shares then investment account should be debited with the right shares acquired with acquisition cost and when we sold your rights to another person then sale value of rights can be taken as a profit and it should be transferred to the PNL account credit side when it comes to the dividend received on shares it is if the shares are acquired on come dividend basis then 
pre-acquisition dividend should be reduced from the investment that is to be taken to the investment account credit side otherwise take the dividend to the PL account as an income as an income and the last head for AS 13 that, the, that is disclosures so what are the disclosures we should make as per AS 13 in financial statements let us look disclose the following in the financial statement that is accounting policy of the entity gross income received or receivable and included in the PL account and profit or loss on the sale of current or long term investment and the adjustment of carrying amount of investment account and the entity should disclose quoted or unquoted investments separately and disclose the market value of quoted investment irrespective of the classification of which investment that is as a long term or current and the other disclosures required so these are the requirements should be made in the financial statement as per AS 13 with this we have completed AS 13 let us see revenue recognition in another video thank you